Welcome to All for Mastery Insights. We are with Dr. Paul Tai, and this is an incredible opportunity to, to speak to a master practitioner and a master author as well with 18 published books. Uh, but before we get into the conversation about writing, about the books, a little bit of background for this incredible, amazing authority. Um, well, firstly, you know, amongst his many books, Dr. Paul Tai has the Women's Anti-Aging Manual, Eight Powerful Steps to Anti-Aging, the Encyclopedia of Natural Products, and The Thin Factor, Simple Successful Weight Loss, all having been bestsellers. Um, but the background to not only these books, but his incredible career is Dr. Paul um, has a tremendous history and passion towards integrative medicine with a significant focus on anti-aging. He's the chairman of the Department of Postgraduate Medical Education and chairman of the Department of Medical Research at the University of Health Sciences, Antigua, the School of Medicine and School of Nursing. Dr. Tao um, is also a professor of aging and regenerative medicine and professor of clinical nutrition, as well as the chairman and president of the Brazil American Academy of Aging and Regenerative Medicine, amongst many other board and lecturing appointments. And what, what, what I think is really amazing that not only does he have that authority, that incredible background, he has also presents in conferences worldwide on anti-aging um, and health, an absolute authority, an incredible master, and as I said, 18 books. Uh, wow, this is a great opportunity. So before we begin, welcome, um, Dr. Paul, and just I'd love you to share, given that history, given that incredible background, a little about yourself. Well, thank you, Dr. Marcus. Uh, such a pleasure to be with you. Thank you so much for the introduction. Uh, I started my professional career as a surgeon. I am a podiatric physician surgeon. I'm double board certified in surgical training. And I was the head of the licensing for the state of Michigan in the United States for giving examination and sit on the board of licensing for the state for my profession. So I was the one that gave the medical license. I gave them the exam, but I also gave them the medical training to be a surgeon. So I was under two governors, the head of all the hospitals, not just one hospital, but all the hospital in my state, in my it, a state is a province. So I did that for, over 48 years. I've been practicing medicine for 48 years. I am a, a practitioner and approximately 25 years ago, I left and, and, and became, I went back to school. Uh, I was very intent of becoming a natural medicine practitioner. So, I went back and got my degree and double board certification in anti-aging, aging and regenerative medicine. Uh, that's why I started the Medical Society, which is the Brazil American Regenerative Medical Society, BARM, B-A-R-M dot U-S. So for those of you who are interested, you can go to my website, B as a boy, A-R-M as a Mary dot U-S. You can go there, take a look. There is some information there for you, but you can also call my office. My office is in Eastern Standard Time. That's New York time. And my office telephone number is 313 333-2356, So that is my cell phone. And I am going to give you the office where you can actually speak to secretary and people. That is 313-561-6800. So I gave you my cell phone so you can reach me directly. And I also gave you my office, 313-561-6800. So this is my background. I teach MDs, practitioners, naturopaths. 
I teach at many universities, medical schools. Uh, I have been affiliated with over 20 some odd universities as a professor, as the chairman of the department. And I give educational background for chiropractors, naturopaths to be able to actually assimilate the practice of aging into your chiropractic practitioners. So this is a summary, very short, very thumbnail summary of what I do. Thank you for the generosity of giving those contact details so that people can, can reach out to you and find out more about you, your programs and how they can incorporate uh, anti-aging into their practice. I, I love that. And I appreciate that that amazing gift that you've provided there. What I want, and I know I've just read your bio and I'm listening to what you've spoken um, about there in terms of what you're doing now. I feel like, uh, you know, there are so many chiropractors that have a desire to impact the world at a profound level. They, you know, a lot of the time we're talking about either writing books or doing presentations, uh, increasing your expertise. And to have somebody with such a far reaching expertise I would love for you to talk to the people watching this, uh, listening to this about cultivating that expertise because some people may say, wow, look, he's done so much. Uh, he's obviously you know, been around for so long. It's easy for him to say he can write all of these books or he can get into these positions of lecturing. And they don't understand that anyone who has a desire to achieve that can experience greater levels of expertise and authority by charting that journey in front of them. So what would you say to somebody who wants to be in a position that you're in, to have this level of authority, to, to serve at this higher level? How do they begin? What journey is in front of them and what would you suggest they do? Well, as a chiropractic physician, you are naturally the person that we should go to because you are already dealing with natural medicine. You already believe in the nature of your body healing itself. You already believe in the goodness of plant-based medicine. You already believe in freeing and getting the joints to be congruous in the entire body so that it works better. You are, as a chiropractic physician, perfect for this job. You don't need to do anything different. As a, as a surgeon, I had to undergo quite a bit of change in order to adapt myself to natural medicine because we don't use any chemicals. However, I always tell the audience that in life, education is important. Education is the one piece that gives us the skills. So what I want to do is get all of your audience to think in terms of skills, not in terms of theory. Theory doesn't solve any problem. Theory does not heal people. Skills heals people. If you have a skill, you can solve a problem. And I would suggest that don't think in terms of authority, don't think in terms of people, think in terms of how you can serve. And if you can be of service and that comes across and it's transparent, does that make sense that you would want to ally yourself with a doctor who is of service to you, who solves your problems, who heals your body, who is being of service. So there are two things that a good physician should do. Number one, learn skills, not theory. Number two, learn to be of service rather than worry about the size of the practice or the size of your authority, because those doesn't matter. Once you're in service, once you are of service, you will become an authority just by being there. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes perfect sense. And I love what you're saying there is, 
is that the, the heart, the altruism comes before everything else. You will be recognized and rewarded for your service and contribution. And so that is where you put your time, your effort, your energy. And you know how you go about accumulating skills, you attend courses, you do programs. I, go, I really want to focus on how you be of service because obviously the more you know, the more service you can provide, the greater your desire to, to help and to impact and to add value, the more service you'll uh, be able to produce. So how does a how does a practitioner, when knowing that they need to develop skills and come from that perspective of a, a servant, having a servant or having a servant heart, how do they demonstrate that? How do they express that and ex you know, evidence that in practice? Be interested in your patient. Your patient is the most important thing at that moment. You are there, all your years of practice, all your years of experience, all the skills that I talked about, you gathering together to solve problems should be focused onto your patient. Your patient that's standing in front of you is the light and the focus of your entire time. If you can look at that person and say, how can I be of service to you? And how can I help you to achieve a better health today? That would be a powerful set of focus, powerful set of goals for you to walk in every room with every patient with that gift of you in your heart to be of service to that individual and paying attention to that individual, not to your clock, not to your watch, not to your schedule, not to the fact that you still have 25 people to see. None of those things matter at that moment. At that moment, that patient that is in that room is all that matters. And how to serve that person is all that matters. That's amazing. I think that's some incredibly sage advice. And I love the fact that we've been able to share that. Now, we're going to talk about books as well. We're going to talk about how to, another way of serving is by educating as well. And we could talk about any of your 18 books. We've, we're going to talk about women's anti-aging manual because to have a conversation across so many books becomes a little bit, uh, can complicate the conversation. But let's just begin with, I mean, it was a bestseller, Women's Anti-Aging Manual. Tell us a little bit about that book, the thesis of the book and its it, it message. Okay, the book, it's called Women's Anti-Aging. I'm gonna put it in front here for you to take a look. Yep. This is the book, and it is a book of for aging, but it is mostly just for women. And what we do here is to teach women and to share with women all the knowledge that they know how to become older and yet continue to have the usefulness, continue to have the energy level, continue to have the body that she used to have, continue to have the beauty, and most importantly, to live as long and as healthily as you can possibly live. So this is a book that is designed for women who are over between 50 and 55. So what you have to realize is that a woman is the same gene the same woman, the same person, the same everything, but her body past the age of 55 become a different woman. She no longer menstruates. She no longer can have children. She no longer can have uh, pregnancy. She is starting to lose hair. Her skin is starting to wrinkle and she is starting to get fat. This is very key to a woman when she reaches that age, that particular age where her body is undergoing different changes. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. And, I, and again, this is the, the beautiful thing about being a practitioner and being an author. You get to take your knowledge, your insight, and talk to your audience to give them the knowledge, to give them the skills so that they can change their life. And so you again, you be of greater service because you can serve people 
that don't come into your practice by writing a book, you can share your message to a wider audience. And, and that means you can have a greater impact. So I'd love for you to talk about what was your motivation? I mean, you've got so many books. What was your motivation to write just one book, let alone 18? Well, you know, what happens with many of these is that as a researcher and as is someone who sees 100 patients a day, that used to be my practice. I used to have a very large practice. I had one of the largest practices in the country, in the whole entire United States. The top five, top five practices, mine was one of them. So I wanted to share all of this knowledge, that experience that I've had with patients, and I wanted to solve problems for them so that they could see. Because many times, many doctors even don't know about a certain problem has a certain elegant solution. And the most, the most beautiful solutions to health care are simple. They are simple, they are elegant, they are classic. So what we do essentially is we take these solutions and we make it available elegantly, simply, so that people can use it and people can restore their health, their usefulness, and their life by using some of these solutions. And I think that's, I, I love this theme of being, you know, serving by offering solutions, giving real and tangible value. And, you know, again, you do that in the written form so they can act on that. And if they come into your practice, you've already got a model for how you can help them. And they already know what to expect if they've read the book coming into the practice as well. So how, how have you found blending being an author when, you know, and being, when you were in practice, having that, that knowledge available to people? What, what's the experience that the patient has knowing that you're an author coming in to the consultation? Well, the, the patients, sometimes they think it is a good thing to, to, to be an author. Sometimes they don't care. You know, patients are very there for one basic reason only, and that is to solve their health problem. They are more, at that moment, they are more interested in themselves than interested in somebody else. And I am interested in helping them. And I'm interested in helping to solve that problem. And if my book, the beautiful about the book is this, not only does it discuss and help to spread the experience that I've had, but what I wanted to do is to be able to prepare in a reasonable fashion, all of the research that is behind, all the medical journals, all the books that was written by, about it. So I give you all the medical journals that are behind the proposition that I am giving you. Wow. So you, when you look at it, you know that it's not just my 48 years of experience talking and having seen thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of patients. That is my background. But the fact that I put it very nice and clean so that you have all the medical journals that are cited at the same time, so that you know that the references that I'm giving you, the medical journals that I'm giving you, the research that I'm giving you, gives you the backbone of what I am talking about. So that if you want to learn more about it, if you wanted to familiarize more, if if you wanted to know more about your condition, you can go ahead and certainly do that by going to my book and going to those medical research and reading more about it. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes perfect sense. And what I'm hearing there is, okay, so you're in practice, you have written a book, Women's Anti-Aging Manual, and the people coming to you, maybe because of the book, maybe because of your experience, it doesn't matter. But when they come in, you've got a protocol and a program that's clearly there for them and that you can guide them through. But most importantly for you, 
then you can say, here is the science behind what I do and why I do it. My credibility, my authority is in my clinical experience, yes, but also because it's substantiated and supported by research, the proof is there, therefore the credibility is there, not only because of my experience, and now I'm going to give you that solution because I know you came here with a problem that you want a solution for, and that allows that process to be more really a, a beautiful flowing conversation that they can, if they, they don't need the research necessarily, but if they want it, they have got it. And that allows you to get down and do what you want to do, which is serve them by giving them a solution. Absolutely. Thank you so much for making it so crystal clear. Yeah, Very fun. good. I love what you've done there. I think what I'd love to really just dig out because you, again, you've written so much, you've achieved so much clinically is how, how, how are you able to get the, the knowledge you have? I mean, if you've written 18 books, then you must have a process. You must, one, it's knowing a lot of information and a lot of them are in this area of anti-aging, but how, what was your process of taking the knowledge and putting it on the page so that you can have that distillation of your wisdom? Well, you have to understand that aging is a dynamic process. And medicine is a dynamic process. In other words, you may be feeling perfectly fine right now and you don't have any problem whatsoever. But if I wait five minutes, you may start having the biggest headache of all time and to the point where you cannot even think. So aging and health care is a very dynamic process. So what we need to do as physicians is help our patients to focus on how do we solve their problems? How do we help them to gather all of those illness that they are having, they appear to be small. They even sometimes appear to be mundane. Oh, it's just a headache. Oh, it's just an acid reflux. Oh, it's just a, a painful carpal tunnel syndrome. Or just my blood pressure. Or the cholesterol is very high. They appear to be small, but yet they play a very strong and very important part in your total health and in your total being, that nagging pain will steal the poetry of your life. It will take away the beauty that you normally would have in an afternoon, sunshiny, gorgeous day with the birds singing, but you may not be enjoying that much because you have a severe, severe headache. So what I want to do is help you to write a book that takes all of those things into, into a consideration so that I help you to sleep better. I help you to digest food. I help you to go to the bathroom. I help you to have the energy. I help you to think clearly and not be, have brain fog. I help you to prevent all those diseases that are preventable. These are all of the things that I am going to surround your body and surround you with good medicine and good practice so that you can come out of it and you can enjoy the best that you can be. And I mean, that, that, that's a great motivation to, sh to write the book, to share the message. And then is, is there a process you go to do that? Do you, you know, do you dictate the book? Do you write the book? Do you outline the message that you have so you get clear about what you want to share? How do you, how do you begin that process of getting it out of the head, out of the heart, onto the paper? Well, as you probably already know, and you yourself are an author, uh, it all starts by doing the research. So you read, 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 read. And well, while you're reading it, you're making notes and you're saving. You're saving this, you're saving that, you're saving that. There are some time 
these things come very quickly. They come together very beautifully. Sometimes they come very slowly and they don't seem to be making much of a progress. You might be six months into it and you haven't made no progress, so to speak. So you cannot tell. But all I can tell you is that it starts by research. When you do the research and then you compile it all up, you have mounds and mounds and mounds of textbooks, just mounds. And then one day when you, all of it come together, you sit down and you start to write because you, it's already organized in your head. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. And, and I think it's such an important role of the practitioner is to, to read in the area of their interests and to read to develop their expertise. And the natural byproduct of that is that you'll synthesize that information. It'll come through your own lens and therefore it'll be your own expression of, of that area of interest. And you, you'll be able to have your own personal message and, and then be able to distill that into the contents of a book. Very good. You, you, you obviously know what you're talking about. Thank you very much. I want to go back to the Women's Anti-Aging Manual because, again, it's a bestseller. It's one of the uh, a, a really impactful book. And, and you know, again, you've researched it. You've written it. You've, you've solved so, you know, problems with it and given a solution. When you write a book like this, and, you know, obviously it's, a, it's both a labour of love and a service, but at the same time, it, it impacts life. So what have you found that when people read your book, that they have said to you, what? Well, so take the Women's Anti-Aging Manual and they, they come in and they say, you know, Dr. Paul, this has been amazing. I need to tell you, I read your book and what do they say? What, what does it mean? What do they say? What does it mean to you when you have somebody read your book and it impacts them? They generally find something they like that they are going to use. It's because the book is chock full of practical answers. It's not theoretical. You take a test to see if you are doing well. You take another test to see if you are emotionally and physically doing well. You take another test to see if you're physically still doing well. So you, you, you do many, many things in the book to sort of evaluate how you are doing as a human being. How are you doing in your health? How are you getting along at your age? What are the, some of the areas that we need to focus on? What are the areas that we need to pay attention so that you can actually get the most benefit off of it, you know, out of it? So I would say that the book for women's anti-aging talks specifically about the hormones of the human being. As we get older, our hormones change. They don't manufacture as much. They are very deficient and they are not in balance, okay? So first is the fact that they don't manufacture as much. They fall out of balance. They no longer serves to protect you, to prevent the problems. They serve to create problems for you. So we look at your basic hormones. We look at your progesterone. We look at your estriol, the three estrogens, the estrone, estriol, estradiol, the DHEA, testosterone, the cortisol, which is your adrenals, your thyroid, your T3, your T4, reverse T3. So all of those are important so that you know through simple non-invasive testing, such as saliva, you all you have to do is spit, and then you know whether your levels are balanced. And if your levels are balanced, you're feeling good, your everything is working well. If your levels are not balanced, then obviously something is not getting manufactured because your body is not doing what it's supposed to do to prevent the problems. So the woman's anti-aging is a GPS for you to solve your womanly problems. Yeah, 
That is one. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. I, I think when when a person picks up a book and it and it's their solution, it gives them, as you said, a GPS to the to the outcome that they want. That there's going to be a, it's a gift. The book becomes a gift to give them the experience of health and life that they want. And when you can when you can beautifully articulate that, it, it is a wonderful service to do. And given that this is all about service ensuring that you are serving that patient in front of you or serving your reader in front of you with a GPS or a blueprint to their health, then you're going to be successful and you're going to make massive impact. So look, I, I, I'm Thank so you. excited to be able to Thank share this. Sorry. Thank you for, for making it so clear and so easily understandable. Well, you're doing a great job with that. I'm just, I'm, I'm absorbing what you're saying and reflecting on it. That's, um, you, you, you put this together beautifully. Before we close here, I think I've, I know that you were introduced to me by uh, Dr. Kelly Miller, Kelly Miller, and he is in, in, within chiropractic. He is an absolute rock star. And if he was like, you have got to speak to Dr. Paul because this man is a, an absolute mammoth in, in his profession. And so I was so excited that he introduced um, me to you so that we could have this opportunity to speak and share this message. So for those who remember, Go back to the beginning of this video, hit that area of pause where he's giving you the details. You can write the numbers down. You can write the, um, the website down. And if you have an anti-aging interest, there, this man offers you the, the expertise, the insight and the, the teachings that allow you to start incorporating it and bringing that into practice. It's a beautiful opportunity uh, to learn from a true master, uh, an absolute expert. And again, Kelly Miller, I could not have spoken more highly about his absolute genius. I'm grateful that we've had this opportunity. And I thank you so much, Dr. Paul. And so I'd love to finish with, you know, when one thing that Kelly said is that you've helped people write books and you have, um, you, you've volunteered to be able to support and serve them. What is your message to chiropractors who want to write? My, a book? my message is that chiropractors being a perfect profession of natural medicine, the world depends on chiropractic. You are already at the head of the, of the whole entire group of people that are taking care of humans. You are using natural already. But what chiropractors doesn't do very well is that they don't write, they don't publish research. And if you don't publish, you perish. So I always say to chiropractors, if you have an article, if you have an interest, let's write that article. I help you publish. I will help you to publish your book. I will help you to publish your research. I will help you to publish whatever it is that you have. I will help you to write it. But most importantly is that we need to be a team. Alone is more difficult. But when we work together as a team, we get things done faster, better, and less effort because we have the companionship of those teammates. So I want to give you once again, my office telephone number is 313-561-6800 in the United States. 313-561-6800. My website is... Dr. Ty, my, my personal email is Dr. Ty, D R T A I at B as in boy, A R as in Robert, M as in Mary dot US. So it's Dr. Ty at barn dot US. You can go to barn dot US as a website. You can call our office. We have all sorts of books. You can buy the book at Amazon or you can call us and we'll give you a substantial discount. Call the office number that I gave you and they'll give you a substantial discount for buying the books and the DVDs, CDs, every, everything is available and we can help you make yourself known. We can help your patients. Give us a, 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 a chance to serve together in your team, be part of your office and we will do it together. Thank you so much for your invitation to be part of your life. 
Wonderful. Uh, Dr. Ty, that is so generous of you, and I really appreciate you. And I appreciate your message. I'm so grateful that you have been able to impact the world as you have and serve in such a profound way. And you you role model the chiropractic heart, which is service. And it is you, you're right, chiropractors, we need to write more. We need to research more. We need to support our researchers between the Australian Spine and Research Foundation and Heidi Horvick and, and even Life University, wherever chiropractic researchers are, get behind them, do your own research, get yourself published, get yourself published as both a researcher and author, and we can serve not only our profession, but humanity together. And Dr. Paul has highlighted the pathway for that. It has been exciting Thank speaking you so with much. you. We, we, we have many other books. So if you, if you, in the future, if you got room for us, call us, let us know, and we will cover other books with you. Absolutely. Thank you so much. So grateful, Thank you. everyone. You've heard it here. You know what to do. Let's go do it together. Thank you. Thank you.